How many times have you written an email to parents only to wish later that you could have personalized the message? Today we're going to look at an add-on for Google Documents that will allow us to customize emails. So to start we will make a spreadsheet and in that spreadsheet we will have columns. The column headings are best to be one word and I will explain that in a moment. So as you can see I have copy and pasted information from my contacts. I have my parent name, I have the email address, and the student's name. I've also made additional columns for the project title and for the time of their presentation. All of this information will be used in a moment, but first we must install the add-on. To do that, you go to the add-ons and get add-ons. Yet another mail merge is going to be a red image, and if you don't see it right when you open the add-ons, you can scroll down and it'll be there, or you can click search add-ons. So yet another mail merge is bright red, and where mine says manage, yours will actually say free because you haven't installed it yet. Install the app, and you'll be ready to go. The next thing we need to do is write our email. So let's head over to Gmail, and we're going to open a new draft. As you can see, my old email was very generic and said our school science fair. The new email says students school science fair, and as you can see, the word student is in this double bracket. The double bracket is very important, and as you know, the word student was our heading in the spreadsheet. So that's basically what you need to do and why I recommend just using a single word. You would put the word inside the double bracket, and when you send this email, the spreadsheet is going to populate. So once you're done, it's saved as a draft. We go back to our spreadsheet and we go to the add-on menu. Yet another mail merge will open up a menu bar that says start mail merge. The first thing we'll do is select our email addresses. The recipient column in this case is email. So you pull down the menu and click save. The next step is your own information. Which draft do we need? Well, we know that the email we want to send starts with the students science fair. So we'll use the pull down menu and pick the correct draft. Put your name in, that will show up in the sender column, and click send emails. The mail merge will complete the column next to all your information, and it'll say all emails were sent. If I go to my Gmail and look at sent mail, I will now see four emails were sent. As you can see, each one was personalized. John's school science fair, Logan's school science fair. If I open up the email, you'll see that it has the parent's name, it has the time of their presentation, and it has the title. So as you can see, yet another mail merge will allow you to send personalized email. There is one small catch that I would like to make you aware of. Yet another mail merge has a quota. You are only able to send 2,000 messages a day, I believe. So as you can see, it says you can still send 1,470 emails from this app today. Therefore, if you are the principal and you have a giant school, you might run out of daily emails. If you are just a classroom teacher, though, the limit is kind of hard to reach. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you would like to see a different video made, please let me know. Thank you.